Oh my god, I didn't know there was a death battle. Of There's a death battle of Bleach versus Aizen? Of I Madara versus Aizen, oh lord. Okay, all right, let's see it. I'm not, I'm not watching the whole thing. I'll watch the fight, though. Uh, Ooh, glasses, Aizen. His weakest form. Uh -huh. You can see me. I can see everything. <laughs> what is this dialogue? What did they do? <laughs> did you see oh. that? I always loved at modern weapons though. Drown in despair! Oh my god! The voice lines are so bad! Expect nothing more from a human. That doesn't even sound like ice. Uh. <laughs> Mere parlor tricks. Don't get so. Mere parlor tricks. <laughs> Why is he fighting with a guitar? Dude, Madara's weapon is so funny. He's always using this freaking guitar as his weapon. Oh lord. Follow yourself. <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest, just looking at it for what it is right now, it looks, it's so cringe. Because you have no idea how these people, how they're supposed to fight each other. Right? Anyone that looks at Madara's Shikai is under his mind control. What, what are they going to say? They're going to say, ah, oh, yes, he looked at it with a Sharingan, so he's immune to the mind control because mind control is like a Genjutsu. Even though they're completely different powers. Right? No? Am I, am I just, I don't know. It makes no sense. used to be so much better. I didn't watch Death Battle in a hot minute, but I remember they used to have some like really high quality stuff. This is pretty basic, no? Like in alternate dimensions, they like legit cannot be seen or felt or anything. Like that's exactly what I mean by a fight between them doesn't make any sense. <laughs> right, it's the limbo clones. Aizen doesn't have anything in his arsenal to see the limbo clones. Just like Madara shouldn't have anything in his arsenal to counter Aizen's Shikai. Right? Like it's not a fair fight. You can't compare. You can't assume that Aizen would be able to see them, and you can't assume that Madara would be able to break out of the Shikai. I love it. The thrill of battle. The pounding of my heart. The I love it. The thrill of battle. Me. <laughs> I am evil Scooby-Doo. <laughs> the thrill of battle. Beast of my own blood. I love it. <laughs> oh. Okay, that was weird. <laughs>
escapes my illusions, human. Know your place. You kind of have to love how this whole epic fight, he just gets killed because Zetsu was behind him, you know? <laughs> it's like, oh yes, I just stabbed him from behind and he didn't notice me. No way! Right, let's see the explanation. Hey of course Madara won! He fake died twice for his 5D chess plan, while Aizen only fake died once. Aizen and Madara were extremely evenly matched in raw power and speed. By our calculations, Madara spreading the God Tree's roots with his chakra was about seven times more powerful than the best that Aizen could scale to with his rare Yoku. But that was the calculation they used that he was a- Dude, this man dropped meteors. The tree roots? Really? The tree roots? He dropped meteors before he got Sage Chakra. You could just time it by a billion for the Sage Chakra. That is a way, way, way better calculation than spreading freaking tree roots and both ended up being roughly as fast as each other. Well, there are a range of possible feats and numbers. There's no way they were roughly as fast as each other. They were like doing completely different things in the sh <laughs> What? Naruto, hold up. Th what was that laser beam, right? That laser beam that sliced the moon in half, R right? In Naruto? No. Dude, it's been way too long. First to go with to determine their limits. The point is well, they're always heard. going to be close to even. Which means the Not main thing really. that mattered here were their powers and how they countered each other. Madara's enormous variety of abilities eventually overwhelmed Aizen. While Soul Reapers like Aizen may be in- Dude, this man knew a hundred Kidos, okay? Aizen knows so many moves. What do you think Madara's fireball jutsu is gonna catch him off hand? <laughs> At the end of the day, all of Madara's useful jutsus are Sharingan based. Visible to regular oh, people, God. the Rinnegan allowed Madara to see invisible spiritual beings like his own limbo clones. Cringe! I knew they were gonna say something like that. Oh yes, yes, it's because, of course, he was able to see a Soul Reaper, which can't be seen by anyone alive. He was able to see him because uh, the Sharingan Rinnegan could see limbo clones. I dude. Hell, the Rinnegan lets you see and remove human souls, and that's exactly what a Soul Reaper is. Both Chakra and Rare... It never said they could see human souls, right? Just saying. Yoku utilized spirit energy yeah, yeah, and know. operated in similar ways, I don't know. being formed into attacks like ninjutsu and keto. That meant that Madara's ability to absorb ninjutsu allowed him to nullify the vast majority of Aizen's range attacks. Just because he has a move to absorb ninjutsu, this isn't ninjutsu! Aizen's not using ninjutsu, Aizen's using ghost jutsu! He's using... <laughs> How can you make this comparison? This makes no sense. And even dispel his force fields. And despite how OP Aizen's complete what? hypnosis was, Sharingan uh. users can break out of illusions no sweat. They can break out of Genjutsu's, not an Aizen freaking Shikai. They can't break out of spiritual pressure. They can't break out of a Zanpak Toe move. That's not what they do. Oh. He's not using freaking ninjutsu gamers. Oh. Even one's as powerful as Itachi's Sukuyomi. And yeah, because at the end of the day, there was a ninjutsu. And since Madara can switch between the Rinnegan and the Sharingan at will, he'd be able to break out of an illusion anytime he wanted. Aizen's illusions are nearly perfect, but fellow Captain Unohana was able to subconsciously notice its flaws. With an eye as perceptive as the Sharingan, which can spot imperfections in genjutsus all the time, it was only inevitable that Madara would be able to quickly break out. However, the same couldn't be said for Aizen, who never showed any resistance to the kind of mental illusions Madara can create. Even setting illusions aside, the sheer quantity of offensive options at Madara's disposal, whether it be his clones, meteors, or monsters summoned by the Rinnegan, kept Aizen constantly on the back foot. But none of that mattered if they couldn't kill each other, and both had pretty insane healing factors that could recover from just about anything. Except True, he has Hashirama cells, let's go! Except for those pesky eight balls of doom. Madara's truth-seeking orbs were capable of completely molecularly annihilating spiritual beings and preventing them from regenerating. And they just called the Edo Tensai a spiritual being, so therefore, also the truth-seeking orbs can destroy soul reapers, because they're also spiritual beings. What? What? <laughs> Look out, what is the logic? There's no logic. Oh yeah, they can destroy uh, ghosts because they're also able to destroy uh, reincarnation jutsus. Yeah, same thing, right? <laughs>
And again, Aizen was a spiritual being. Crazy. And Aizen lacked the ability to do the same irreversible damage to Madara, the ghost of the Uchiha had exactly what he needed to put this actual ghost down for good. Aizen uh -huh. was an unbelievably overpowered foe, but Madara's own powers, illusions, and devastating truth-seeking orbs allowed him to crush the ex-Shinigami. Sosuke should have kept his Aizen the prize. And oh my lord, do you oh feel any shame at all? Eh, moderately. Ha! Double pun. Suck it, Wiz. The winner is... Oh, that was kind of cringe, bro. Dude, we need... What's his face? Hi. Is Nux an Aizen apologist? I'm not an either way apologist. I'm a... Death battle makes no sense. Is... Okay, all right, whatever. Dude, we need... What's his face? Seth. Set the programmer to come in here. Shove some sticks up they ass. Bruh, that man knows what's up. True story. Like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitch. Stay weird, fam!